and we saw a little bit more snow maybe that we anticipated and it, you almost watched it come in, it, it scooped the wrong way, the storm. Yeah, uh, so so there's, there's a lot of different factors that are going on here. Uh, one of those things, like you mentioned, going the wrong way, yeah. uh, coming kind of coming in from the east, right? Mm -hmm. Essentially, uh, kind of almost a, a lake effect type snow thing where we're, we're seeing that uh, snow coming over the Great Lakes region, so kind of coming mm -hmm. from a, a moisture dense area that way. Um, and then the other thing that uh, we look at is kind of those snowfall ratios. Uh, so where the temperature is compared to to, uh, you know, where we're seeing the, the best snowfall formation. Uh, so here, you can see mm. that, um, that that one five to one, that one represents one inch of rainfall. Meanwhile, 10 to one, again, still one inch of rainfall, but see how the temperature changes, just two degrees can change mm. just how much five inches to 10 inches of snow. So a very wow. small temperature change can mean big differences in how much snow we're actually getting at the ground. So uh, mm. while it may seem like a little bit more, you know, half inch, one inch may seem like a big difference, meteorologically speaking, it's not that much. It's uh, maybe a couple hundredths of an inch of rain. I just have to know, do I need to send my kids out to remove the snow? <laughs> That's the threshold for me. Yeah, uh, the good thing is, again, a lot of driveways not sticking, and uh, tomorrow it'll all be melted anyways. Oh, of course. Again, thank you. <laughs>